Destiny Ridge. Hello, viewers. Look, we're in a racing car hat because this weekend is racing cars in Australia at Bathurst. The Bathurst 1000 kilometres, or that would be roughly, I don't know, 700 miles or something. Takes all day for them to go around. Anyway, so if you want to, look it up, Bathurst. The Bathurst 1000. It's, uh, it's not a bad race to watch. They're still racing. I'm just taking uh, Sunny for a uh, ride. So you guys can come along with me. I know you've seen it a hundred times, but we might come across some animals. He's an animal. Archer, you're an animal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's an idiot. He ran into the screen door again. So I've got to get a different type of screen door, one that's got... I don't think you can see the mesh. It's very hard to see when it's a bit dark outside and look, well, it's a bit overcast. We can only hope it's going to rain. But, uh, yeah. So, another reason why I had to come down here, there's some trees down here that might suit my purpose that I need. I need, I need some trees. There. Oh, that's going to be hard to get to unless I bring the excavator down. Yeah, okay. I don't think they're going to be suitable anyway. They look a little short. I need seven. No, I need four. Seven meters long. And I think I've got four. But then I might need. Some other ones that I can cut into 1750. Oh, there they are, there 1750 mil long. Yeah, they might be able to, but I'll have to shift all of this. I'll have to bring the excavator down here. So, anyway, we'll have a bit of a ride around. Look, there's a wall, oh, there's a whole heap there, too. And there's some there. Yeah, I'll have to bring the excavator down. Yes, I know. I shouldn't drop off like that, should I? Hang on, everybody. It's going to take me glass off. I uh, broke the good ones. Broke the good ones I got. And uh, they replaced the handle that I broke and said, well, you shouldn't pull it off with one handle. And I'm going, whoever grabs both handles of glasses and pulls it off like that, nobody. Maybe some people grab them from the middle and pull them off, but you know, most people grab them from the one one leg of the glasses on, you know, left or right handed or whatever you are. Anyway, I had to pay for it to get fixed because, hey, it was my fault that it broke. Uh, just a shit pair of bloody shit frames that cost me a million dollars. Well, not a million, but you know what I mean. Cost me a lot of money, 250 bucks, I think, for the frame. Uh, about 350 bucks all up. And, uh, yeah, they lasted about six months and then broke. So really happy with that snot. Anyway, getting back to my story, after running away with another story, um, I bought some cheap ones off of eBay, they really, like, I like them because they stick to your face. They're a little tiny bit tight. They're cheap plastic. But, they stick to your face. You know, when you lean over, they don't fall off. I like them. Because I lean over a lot when I drop stuff. Anyway.
something in the distance because it's not looking good. I think it's you. Did you scare him off, big fella? I know you can smell him. So what I'll do is I'll stop here. I'll stop here. He loves to pee underneath these bushes here. Don't you? Go on. Go on, have a pee. He likes to pee and sometimes he drops his rear end. See, how did he do that? He goes in between the trees. He really wants to upset these buddy dingoes. And he gives them a bit of a spray. Oh, come on then, hop on. Good boy. Hey? Do you reckon that'll upset him? Do you reckon that'll upset him? That's good. That's good, isn't it? He goes, yep. He does like to upset the dingoes. Oh dear. Um, so, he was barking a bit last night. Had some wallabies outside the shed. Eating some of the grass that's growing. And because um, I'm trying to get grass to grow, there's not so much dust. Anyway, we, uh, oh, there's me little cormorant. Well, I'm not going near you, Mrs. Cormorant. I'm going over here. You can be over there all you want. Oh, it took off anyway. Look, see. No. Oh, it's going down the other end. I don't know. Oh, there's the other cormorant there. So that's all right. One's a pied cormorant, one's just a cormorant. you know can we at least do something today well I fixed my chainsaw and then was heading out to go and cut some trees down and it got too windy because you don't cut down trees in the wind you don't know if it's going to bloody fall properly especially when they're only thin they're only they're only eight inches round these trees and you'd think that that'd be safe but you know what I'm only new to cutting trees and I'm going to be extra safe so I'm going to watch me race I'm all out of beer I haven't had a, well over the last month I had a beer I'd like some now, that'd be good but chinchillas shut at the minute uh, they don't the little town that I live near um, I think they do open the pub on Sundays Nothing else much opens on a Sunday. It's closed. Closed for business. So I won't be driving for 30 minutes to uh, go to a shop that's closed. But I will have to go tomorrow. I need to get some shopping. And I need to fill up the jerry cans with um, fuel for the generator. Spells and a bit cloudy spells, but it's not affecting the solar much. But when it's uh, overcast and you're only making about 40% or 30% of what you normally make, then you have to be very careful unless you want to run your generator. So, you off gridders, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Good lights, I nearly crashed about eight times. 
But I did take a torch with me, so I had to end up using the torch to be able to see. The, you know, the road and everything, it was bloody. It was a bit cold, it was in winter. But he loved it. And I loved that he loved it.
obviously I can see during the day I can see as well as I can with a lot of animals being camouflaged but if I get a thermal I can use it at night and even though it's thick I might still be able to see the odd little animal here and there um, work it out two little puppies around and they seem to be on their own they don't seem to be with their parents anymore the black one and the gold one but I did see a scraggly looking bloody dog, um, a male just on the track just up here that I haven't seen before well, I may have seen it but maybe it just hasn't been feeding or something and it's uh, poor, you know but I would think that they would have fed on the pigs that the neighbours bought um, and killed and put off to the side for the birds and the uh, goannas and the dingoes to eat. So I don't know why he's poor. Poorly, I mean, not as in broke because he doesn't have any cash. Won't be doing that. Dingoes don't carry cash. They're more of a sort of animal, aren't they? You know, there's the trees I've got to cut. I'll leave it there. There's a whole grove there. I've got to come down and clear these trees out of the way. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness, big fella! It's a bit bumpy, wasn't it? Then I'm going to start looking at some of those bloody aluminium bits and take them to the cyclists and I've got to pick up all this junk here that well it's not junk tool stuff and take it up here and put it in the container so it's just, just lying around for somebody to take we don't want that do we big fella hey we don't want that what can you see Is it? I don't know man. That's where Wally B hangs out just in here. I don't think he's there. He's not there. Tonight he'll be there. I went out last night and he went in behind there, Wally. He was here. And as I came out real slow, he walked over there and he went in behind there to hide. It's only to see him. It's only done to go. He don't know what to look for him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Wally B got away with that one. Um, but I've also seen Mrs. Wally with a little one. With a little Joey down there where I feed them. Anyway. Um, that's it for the ride and chat. Um, see you next time. Love yous. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey, give us a thumbs up. Love yous. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the little bell for notifications. See you next time.